In Amsterdam, maybe. Poison ivy. Poison ivy with uh, garlic, red pepper. It's really and good. And that won't make you sick. It's also really healthy for you, actually. It won't make you sick. It won't make you sick. Believe me. Believe me, it's really good. I heard him say it on camera, y'all. Hey. The shoot is finished. I am in Amsterdam. I just landed and we ended up getting delayed. So I am super late. But I want to show you guys my outfit really quick before I head out um, to this little tour I'm about to do. And then I will walk and tell you guys everything. Um, please ignore my bag on the floor. Oh my God, it's terrible. Um, I just pretty much have this white linen dress on um, with a little nude cami underneath. Super casual, super cute. This black bag and some like... I don't even know, like natural, neutral type sandals. My toes aren't done, so Amsterdam is just getting what they're getting today. I freaking just realized that I left my travel charger and somehow it didn't make it into my bag, which kind of has me panicking because I'm just like, oh my God, how did I not bring a travel charger? And I swear that I had it. I swear that I had it. I think I left it um, over someone's house. I have the um, juice of my computer and I was gonna use that to upload my YouTube video because it just finished rendering on my actual computer, the video, and now I have to upload it. And I'm like, I may need to keep my laptop for charging purposes because um, right now I'm charging my phone on it, but I'm at 32%. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now. It is currently 8.25. I have to be at this place at 8.45, so I literally have 20 minutes. So I need to leave right this second. And it's really hot in this room. I think I actually am gonna close the blinds. And um, I actually didn't talk to you guys about it, but when I was in Iceland, everyone was complaining about their room being extremely hot. And I was like, oh, I didn't know, cause I literally kept my blinds closed. <laughs> um, and it helps so much with the temperature in these rooms, guys, because other countries don't have central AC like um, America does. And we're out. So I'm gonna, uh, I guess, get some clips of when I'm leaving. I have my phones. I have my Apple Watch. My, oh, almost forgot my batteries. That's why you do checks before you leave the room. Um, I think that's it. So I'm out and let's go explore Amsterdam. Oh, I was like, where is it? understand zero and one I had both so we'll see but like zero I guess that means ground floor right because one would be floor one that's always so confusing okay guys now that I am outside let me get in the shade a little bit um, I was gonna tell you guys so I am going on a tour today and the tour um, I literally just booked on my way here something that I really wanted to do in Amsterdam was to go to the Anne Frank house because the actual house that she was in that we read in the books um, is here and it is booked out until next month so I'm not gonna be able to see it something that everybody's been saying you have to book at least like two three weeks in advance um, and I'm assuming because summer it's probably a lot worse so I am not able to see that today that was the kind of like main thing in Amsterdam that I would have wanted to see being here um, but when I was talking to one of the girls she was like she booked a tour that is a like Amsterdam like tour that shows you um, uh, how to make clogs, how cheese is made, and stuff like that. So um, that's what I'm going to do right now. I did try to get a shuttle um, from the hotel to take me, but it said that um, they are not able to start doing it until 9, and it's 8.34, and my thing starts at 8.45. So um, 
I'm just gonna go ahead and get an Uber. Apparently they have Uber in Amsterdam, so that kind of worked out for me. And uh, it looks like they're gonna drop me off at 8.42, so I'm really cutting it close. We're supposed to get here at 5.55. We got delayed two hours, so I am just running super late, but it's so cute here. There are even, I don't know if these are offices or these are some people's houses. I'm gonna walk over here really quick, but they have these cute little, I, I'm assuming houses. And they are so adorable. Like, look at these little, little cottages or something. I don't know. I think this is mine. Oh, it says he's like two minutes away, but he's here. Okay. Yes. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Uh, nice. And a flight attendant. First time here, that's what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, guys. Yeah, this is, I just got here like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like you came yesterday. Yesterday it was uh, like the Pride, you know? Then it was yeah, I heard. Is it not still going on? Because I feel like maybe, everything's maybe, maybe, maybe super good. Maybe also going on, but I don't know. I'm not sure. So what's a restaurant that I should like try that's like so good? Stay in Amsterdam. We have a lot of them in the city center, you know? Where I'm going right now? Places. The first one is Sanses Hans. This is the place where the windmills are. We are going to visit one of these windmills, which is a oil windmill, a windmill from 1607. Really beautiful and interesting. And there will be a presentation by the miller, by Ruth the miller. He will explain everything about this beautiful piece of Dutch architecture. The second stop is Fowlendam, a beautiful and picturesque fishing village which is well known by their traditional cuisine. So this is the reason why we are going to visit the cheese factory. There will be a cheese tasting. So if you like cheese, you will probably like this one. Then for the ones want something to drink something to eat i will take you to a restaurant so you can do it so you can try some of the local food like the fish that one is very nice and finally there will be a second tasting sweet one this time we're going to try the stroke waffles those are a sort of cookies uh, with chocolate honey caramel really nice so in conclusion in falling down we're going to be eating all the time all the time eating, 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 and then we have to take the, the boat. It's going to be one way boat ride, and we will sail through the ice lake, the biggest artificial lake here in the Netherlands, in the other side, Marken, the third and final destination, will be waiting for us. Down there, we will visit the wooden shoe factory. There will be another presentation for you to see how these wooden shoes are fabricated. Oh my god! <laughs> Oh, they're so cute. Come No Dutch. No Dutch. No you are here in an oil mill and this windmill was built was built in 1607 and it was built in 1607 as a water pumping as a water pumping mill and that's the mill upstairs 
1672, this one is an oil mill. Now I can make oil from seeds or nuts, and sometimes I make linseed oil, and that oil is used to make paint. But what we have most of the time, there are beans. Okay, I have a question. Uh, do you know why it's not working? No wind. There's no wind. No. Yeah, there is no wind. This one is only driven by the wind. Yeah? You have to do this. Okay. Just realizing I'm climbing up in a drift. It is so cute down here. Oh my god, watch I be the one to fall through into this mucky water. I'm not even gonna try that. <sighs> oh my god, I'm not nature. A bug just Bruh. Alright, it's it's time to go. <laughs> it's time to go. That big old turd. Big old shit in the yard. I'm gonna go in for it. Human. Interesting. 
yeah, that Pure Perfection one really was Pure Perfection. That one's really good, actually. Oh, I even have like lavender cheese. It's literally like blue cheese. Like not a blue cheese, but it's the color blue. Pesto. is actually really good like I'd love to bring some home but it's more the fact of like how am I gonna get cheese home like I have to keep it cold we do have a chiller on the plane so I might possibly but I feel like I need to get cheese on the last day but that cheese was really good and we have four additional hours before we even leave so I don't know that I'm gonna I don't know that I'm gonna do that right now yeah, they have a lot of cute little things, but I think it's kind of a bad idea to get cheese right now. Probably like the girl went cheese tasting and then left. Oh my god, this lighting's terrible. Alright, I have my phone dying, so I'm going to go sit in the bus. And I also just like being an air conditioner. So I'm going to go sit on the bus. I think we have to be back on the bus at... 10:20 and it's 10:04, so I'm gonna go sit just because they said if if you get left, you left. Like they're not coming back to get you till tomorrow. So I'm gonna go get on the bus and on to the next stop. Damn, you fucking this shit up. Down in the cheese factory, you will see there is a wide variety of cheeses. My recommendation is to try the old, the old cheeses. Those are really nice. One year, two years, three years, pretty good. Then, once we are finished at the cheese, I will take you to the restaurant so you can have some food, some drinks in case you want. And then we have the second tasting. And finally, we have the boat. this kind of cheese, Gouda, or Gouda, or Jauda, but it's incorrect, okay? The name is Jauda, and one of the reasons is because here in the Netherlands, the process is original from here, of course, and here in the Netherlands, the letter G sounds like, like this. And that's why it makes sense that the G's name is Ha. So I'm going to ask you something. Only today, inside of the cheese factory, later on I will invite you for the best part. Yummy, 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 <laughs> show, show. She's tasting. I don't want to hear anybody asking me or my colleagues that you have good cheese. This is Gouda cheese, because we don't have it. We have... Oh. Well done. Thank you so much. 
to go into this little store because they have so many cute little gift items. I don't know what to get anybody, but I'm just gonna try and find some like small things because I already got the cheese for me. I realize I'm not sharing that, but I'm getting stuff for other people. Okay guys, so I bought some stuff out of this cute little waffle shop, um, but I'm about to get food here because they said that this is our pickup spot, so I think I'm just going to get some fish and chips and Heineken. Apparently Heineken is like super popular here. I don't even drink beer, but when in Rome. <laughs> Thank you. 
So I just finished eating and I'm back in the waffle place because they're going to do a demonstration. But I think before there's a line, I want to get one. And I don't know if I want the plain sugar one because that one looks really good. Or the Oreo white chocolate one. Or the strawberry or strawberry and chocolate one. I can't decide. Comment down below what you think I'm gonna get because I'm about to get it in like five seconds. Come, follow me. Okay. Just like this, a little dough ball about 60 grams, and I'm going to squish it down a little bit. So now I'm going to put it in a hot iron. Please do not touch it, leave the burning ones to me. Um, this will take about a minute. The iron is 240 degrees hot, so 74 feet, don't touch it. This, of course, is an Instagram worthy, so I'm now going to put the round cutter on top of the screw bubble and I'm going to give it a little twist. And as you can see over here, we have these small crumbs. So people use this uh, in their cakes, in their yogurts, on their ice cream, you make something new with it. Uh, back in the day, this was, this was also used for bait as for the local fishermen, and it's still being used till this day for bait. So if you ever eat a fish that tastes like strip bottles, probably catch your eye. It's like a version of Crocs. When the wood is dry, it's very lightweight, and most important, it becomes water resistant. But the madera está secado, está muy ligero, y resiste al agua. 
I don't think or because that is the main reason why people in the Netherlands still wear the wooden shoes until this day. And they said that there are some famous people because it rains a lot here. But the morning dew so the grass is wet. Farmers they need to walk in the fields without getting their feet all wet and wooden shoes still keep the feet warm and dry. <laughs> Extra, it's buena, 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 it
Okay, well, this was my demonstration. That's the primer demonstration. Thank you, gracias. Alright guys, I am back in my room after a very long day. I got done with everything. It is currently 4.18, um, but I've been here for probably like 20 minutes. I went downstairs and got some snacks and then I needed them to bring me a, um, this is supposedly a travel thing like a travel outlet i left mine so they brought me that huge box um so i'm charging my phone right now um but yeah i had went and got oh i'm over here looking at the um the news i said the iceland people were talking about iceland um picking up trips because there was a volcano that activated and apparently it's like messing with their air but yeah guys, anyway, I went downstairs and I had got one more souvenir of the stroop waffles. And then I I don't think I'm gonna eat tonight because I am so tired, guys. It's four o'clock. I haven't slept. <sighs> I've been up for twenty-four hours now because for yeah, I've been up for twenty-four hours because I never went to sleep in crew rest. I literally just like laid down and I tried to go to sleep and I couldn't. And then we got here late, so I literally had to go straight into my um, excursion. So I have not slept. I've been up for 24 hours. I'm exhausted. So I was thinking, oh, like I can like sleep for a little bit and then go out tonight. That's not happening. It's just not happening. So I went downstairs. I got some cheese because the cheese earlier inspired me. I'm not opening that cheese. I got a bottle of wine um, on the way back. I went to like little grocery store and got two bottles of wine and one bottle of alcohol. Um, and yeah, so I went downstairs and just got some cheese, even though I'm saving my other cheese, I was like craving cheese, and then I got some Pringles, because they didn't have any chips down there that were normal chips. They only had like Lay's paprika flavor, and then they had a yellow bag that I thought was like original, and it was cheese and onion. I was just like, I just need something basic in my stomach, because... I did eat the food earlier, but I'm I'm not a fan. I feel like that's one of the things about Europe is that, like, I like some of the experiences in Europe, but I avoid Europe because I am a foodie. Like, when I go to another country, I am looking to eat. And I hate going to a country that doesn't have, like, super bomb food. They have great cheese here, though. So, um... So, now, bougie, because the cheese is not hitting, like, the expensive cheese with him and she's so good though um i was just craving regular foods that i know i would eat and coke because it's coke um yeah i just went and got this and bro i'm about to go to sleep <laughs> i'm literally gonna go to sleep and sleep until it's time to go home tomorrow Oh, that was so good. Uh, you just, uh, I can't, I can't describe it. Like, this is what I always say. I know I'm not going to ever stop drinking Coke because it just hits like nothing else hits. Like, <laughs> it really does. But, um, yeah, guys, I'm probably going to go to sleep. And whenever I wake up, if it's a few hours before I just to leave, I'm probably going to edit. Now that I have this huge box, I can go ahead and upload um, my three month update vlog. I edited it before I got on the plane, and then when I got on the plane, I rendered it, and literally when we landed, it took the entire flight. <laughs> Once I was in the shuttle, it was done rendering. So I'm literally uh, probably gonna upload that video, and then start working on my Columbia vlog because 
technically Columbia vlog was filmed before my three month update but I was supposed to have done the three month update before so once I do this video and then Columbia I'll be back in order I'm literally gonna eat this cheese eat these chips and drink my coke and I'm gonna go to bed and eat food on the plane tomorrow because I know the food on the plane will be good um but yeah guys I'm exhausted um I didn't really do a full 24 hours in Amsterdam because I did not get adequate adequate rest and also I just don't have it in me to go out and do anything else I have heard the chances of me doing Amsterdam are extremely high working this job um and also there was people on my crew that were like I've done Amsterdam 20 times like literally in the past couple months so it's one of those things I'm not really stressing about seeing or doing more in Amsterdam I think when I come back though I will try to um book the Anne Frank house I'll try and book it at least three weeks um or pick it up three weeks in advance so I can do the Anne Frank house uh, because that's something that I really, really want to do. Um, so I feel like I didn't really get a fulfilling experience yet of Amsterdam because I didn't technically get to do the things that I want to do. And the tour today was nice. Um, I definitely feel like if I did the Anne Frank house, it would have been something more I was wanting to do. So I would have been excited about it. And the other thing I wanted to do was um, a canal cruise, which I did do a cruise on canal. But I wanted to do like a dinner cruise. So I'm thinking I'm going to come back here um, and definitely with someone and then redo my experience. But I did have fun today. I'm just tired, guys. So it just seems probably like I'm freaking miserable. But it's really just because I'm exhausted. I did have fun today. I'm sure I'll wake up tomorrow and be like, oh my god, I had so much fun. But in the moment right now, I'm exhausted. So I'm going to probably watch a little bit of TV in this next five minutes while I'll get this video uploaded and then I'm going to bed and y'all will see me on the next vlog so uh if you've been to Amsterdam leave me some things down at the bottom that I should do um that doesn't involve drugs because I feel like there are so many things like here to do related to that and I'm just like I don't want I don't want my content you know taking a turn so um if you have any idea of what I could do in Amsterdam when I come back definitely leave a comment down below let me know country that you guys would like to see me go to. Have I said all the YouTube stuff yet? Because I'm tired. Like the video. Comment. I'll see y'all <laughs> on the next video. I'm going to bed. Bye, guys.